Hello reformers and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. It's been a little bit of time since I have played the game and I have some pretty kind of awful news actually. I was in hospital. Surprise, 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 I actually had to go to the emergency room and they had to keep me overnight and well, basically, uh, yeah, I... Well, let's just say it could have been very bad. Could have been very bad. So I am feeling quite bad at the moment. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to get back into it because, you know, need to need to pay bills and, and rent and things like that. Anyway, <laughs> point is, we're now back and hopefully I'm going to be able to do a pretty okay episode here. I don't remember what was going on beforehand because I literally... Yeah, I, as I say, I've had a huge, huge nightmare of a, of a time. So anyway, I won't drone on too much about that. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna start off here. So as you can see, we are currently attempting to recruit a couple of Saranid, well, volunteers, recruits. Uh, yeah, obviously, and we've run into some bandits. And I thought this might be, you know, quite nice to sort of start off with because it will sort of ease us back into the series. And also it will mean that we will hopefully get some honor. Now, don't be too surprised if this episode is slightly less long than normal because I am in quite a lot of pain still. And I have quite a few symptoms as well because well basically i i can't i can't take painkillers for uh, you know a variety of different reasons but point is uh yeah i can't do that and i am on a number of things so you know don't worry about that everything's fine but uh yeah just have to keep an eye on it and uh yeah we'll see how it goes but um yeah i'm not going to be able to do too long episodes i'm hopeful that i'll be able to do i don't know Hopefully almost 15 minutes, but it really just depends on how I'm feeling at the time. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's going to go well. Anyway, as you can see, we absolutely destroyed the people there, which was really nice because now we can refuse stating that they need these more and so on and so forth. Yes, it's very good. And oh, <laughs> didn't I, didn't I mention sometime, was it in one of the previous episodes that I don't think that Native has this kind of weird thing going on here, but apparently Native does, yeah. Ah, kick a man while he's down, will you? Ah, that's not very nice, is it? Anyway, we have advanced to level 18, so I'm pretty happy with that. And, well, we're almost at maximum capacity. I suppose that's pretty good. As you can see, I've been recruiting a couple. I just spent... 10,000 dinars at Cherise as, you know, obviously, you know, we wanted to get a Weavery and Dye Works. And I thought, okay, well, what better way to do it than to spend it at one of the Saranid towns? Thought that might be okay. And what are we going to do with Nizar here? Uh, I actually don't know what we're going to do with him because he might be leaving soon. I'm I'm not entirely sure because doesn't he, doesn't he have a problem with, does he have a problem with someone? I, I'm actually unsure. Uh, I've lost track. Literally, I have absolutely lost track with who likes who now. As far as I'm aware, I do remember that Arty Menor is not a big fan of Jeremus, and, you know, the same, you know, vice versa kind of thing. Anyway, we're going to go for a complete warrior build with Forentis, I think. Ooh, well, uh, athletics? or uh, No, nah, we'll just go for some Iron Flesh. It's about time, I think, that he gets a little bit of Iron Flesh. I mean, he already has one in Shield, so I suppose we should just let Iron Flesh catch up just a little bit, perhaps. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to level up Barney here. Oh, my. I have completely forgotten what I was trying to do here. Well, that's the thing. Charisma, obviously, I, I think I wanted to get to about 21, 24 charisma or something along those lines, because leadership is obviously going to come in handy quite nicely due to our morale problems. If we're going to have morale problems, who knows? Shield, obviously, would come in handy. Weapon Master's pretty decent. We have none in athletics, which is, well, I suppose kind of awful. I think I said that I was going to do strength or intelligence and then go for inventory management or something because we obviously need a little bit of extra space and I could go for athletics and things like that if I had an extra point. So maybe we should just go for intelligence 
And well, we're level 18. I mean, we're going to get to about level 30, I think, towards the end of the series. So I think that should be may maybe 36 or something like that. I seem to remember King Barney all the way back. You know, he got to about level 36 or 37, maybe 38. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to go for inventory management there. And uh, do, do I want to go for athletics or do I want to go for some iron flesh or something else? Maybe I just want to go for more inventory management. Uh, that's oh, that's really difficult, isn't it? That's so annoying. Ah, we'll just go for Iron Flesh because I want to stay alive a little bit more. Barney wants to stay alive a little bit more. He doesn't want to see the dirt and the dust and the sand in his face, does he? No, he doesn't. Anyway, okay, I think I... Have I gone over here? I'm not entirely sure. I just went straight to Cherise. Yeah, I have been here already. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't been here. Yeah, there we go. One. One Saranid Recruit. You're being very nice to a sick man, aren't you, game? Very good. Very nice. Okay, well, anyway, let's go for some Saranid footmen and things like that. Oh, yeah, if you haven't guessed, this is going to be a pretty chill episode. So if you're not a big fan of that, then by all means, skip ahead. Terribly sorry for that, but, you know, that's how, that's how it goes, really. And, you know, you've got to look after your health, I guess. But, uh, yeah, got to get back to work sooner or later. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is. Anyway... We are probably going to go and try and fight a couple of Swadian vassals. As you can see, the Vagias are doing a very good job of, well, eliminating them. I mean, they've taken Dirim, obviously we know that. And... Whoa, wait a minute. Is that is that how it was beforehand? The Nords have taken Kelradan Castle? Ah, that, that is very interesting. I actually didn't think that they had... But apparently the Nords are now starting to encroach. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to head up and see if we can... Well, we don't have any tasks, do we? No, we don't have any tasks. Well, I, I guess what we're going to do is try and fight some Swadian vassals. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully all of you are having a pretty decent week. Yeah, better than I'm having, Al. Okay, yeah, that was a uh, <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a spasm there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so yes, hopefully all of you are having a decent week and you're all in, you know, healthy and happy spirits, because you know at least some of us are. Yes, at least some of us are. Anyway, oh, oh, it seems Borcher has advanced to level ten. That's fantastic. He has a wide variety of different skills that we obviously need. I'm going to be speeding ourselves up a little bit here. We want to just make sure we don't run into King Harlaus, do we? No, if we run into King Harlaus, I think we'll probably have a pretty bad time of things. Because even though I have a pretty decent army, I don't think I'm going to be able to take him on if he's at full strength. Because, I mean, I have a bunch of recruits and, you know, just regular low-tier footmen. And the rest of us are, you know, pretty decent. You know, the rest of us are pretty okay. But, you know, obviously he's going to have about 115, 120 units or something like that. So obviously that's going to be quite tricky to deal with when we are not at our full strength. Okay, so let's have a look. Who's going on here? Count Rafard, Count Devlian. I think we can basically choose who we want to attack here. Count Devlian is a little bit slower than Count Rafard. And Count Rafard has Swadian Knights and Swadian Man-at-Arms, which I am really not a big fan of. So we're going to level up Borcher here. Hopefully we're going to be able to get him some additional pathfinding. Can I get? No. He's got maximum pathfinding already. That's fine. We can just go for another point in tracking and spotting. Yes, there we go. Right. He actually has a little bit in pole arms. Is he using a pole arm? He is. He's using a lance. Oh, very interesting. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so, yeah, obviously I didn't remember that. Well, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, yes, he's actually using a pretty decent horse for that. So I'm pretty happy with letting him just continue using his lance. And we're going to go after Count Devlin. And we're going to use our advanced spotting skill to cut him off from his retreat. Because if he had headed in this direction, I would have swung around and hopefully, you know, done a little bit to divert him. He probably could have made his way back in and, you know, probably, probably escaped. But, you know, hopefully we are not, you know, we're not going to encounter anyone else that's too powerful. You never know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Now, let's have a look here. Ah, uh, he has 37. 
I really don't think we need to use any kind of strategy here. I mean, what do we have? We have 29 infantry, thanks to the fact that we have, obviously, all those recruits, which is uh, not exactly good, is it? I mean, I don't really want to run in there with... Wait a minute. So Yeah, sounded recruits. I don't really want to run in there with recruits, so... Eh, it's a little bit antsy. It's a little bit antsy, a little bit... A little bit of nerves there, and Barney certainly doesn't want to lose his newly recruited volunteers, does he? I mean, that's going to be absolutely awful. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter... Because we can just recruit some more, but obviously we've traveled all the way up to the Serenity Territory. What? What? What did I just run into here? I thought I ran into the Invisible Wall for a second. But these guys are all militia, so technically I could just run in. Yeah, I actually forgot that we were fighting not the guy that didn't have the, the knights. Yeah, yes, that's, a, uh, that's terrible. Well, anyway, yeah, it seems like we are not going to really have any problems here. Oh, a Serenid Guard? Are you serious? A Saranid guard was killed by a Swadian skirmisher. Wow. That is no way to treat a sick person, is it? Ah, that is awful. That is absolutely awful. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We are back in the saddle, as it were. And we're going to oh, try and... Well, I was going to say take him prisoner, but it might actually be a good idea to just let them go. Because we're going to be getting a huge amount of honor from that. And I think that would be a pretty decent idea before we create our faction. But obviously, I was, I think, talking about creating our own faction before my small break, eh, quote-unquote. Which is not really a break. Anyway, maybe that would be a nice idea to think about. I mean, uh, I know that... I think I think Suno might be an idea, but then when you think about taking Suno, what do you see? Well, you see some really bad stuff over there because there's 300 and what? 40? 340 troops in there and I'm not really wanting to fight those. I mean, maybe maybe there's just not very good units. I mean, there's 10 knights, 14 sharpshooters. They have 66 man-at-arms. I really don't think that that is doable for us right now. I mean, if Suno were to be weakened a little bit, you know, then we could do a little bit of sneaky sneaky. But as it stands, I, I don't think that that's going to be the case. Uh, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Okay, well, what's going on here? They seem to, They seem to be fighting a little bit. Maybe we could partake in a couple of battles around here. I know we did actually encounter... Ah, Count Stamar. Hello. Are you going to be pursuable that's the thing he is moving very no he's not going to be pursuable at any point he's just moving way too fast i mean technically what i could do is cut him off from going where he needs to go but he's just going to go to ribby lake castle if i try to do that so it's not really a big deal i suppose he's just gonna adapt to what we're doing or is he i mean maybe he's maybe he's gonna be dumb who knows ah here we go okay so now this is where we can become free of our bond technically we could do this, but then you have to take into account that we won't be at war with anyone. We won't be at war with anyone. We'll lose out on our 500 or whatever it is, you know, money per month. So I'm going to be renewing the contract for another month just so that I can do a little bit more progress, get a little bit more renown, a bigger army, and hopefully go from there. Obviously, if I am going to try and take something, I'm going to be you know, renouncing our mercenary oath or whatever it is that I need to do to be free of that. I believe I can speak to him. Can I Can I actually speak to him? I, I don't think I have ever broken free of a mercenary contract in that way. So, I suppose we'll find out in due time. Well, should I? Uh, I, I don't think I can find another one. This is very sad. Very, very sad indeed. I'm not entirely sure where one of them would be. There's some deserters. Uh, it's not really worth it, is it? No, there's a bunch of Rodox as well. Right. Okay. Well, it seems like I'm unable to find any other Swadian vassals, and I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break before I record the next thing, because I am feeling quite bad, actually. <laughs> I am feeling quite bad. I may be making light of it. Am I making light of it? Yes, probably. Anyway, that's what I do. I make light of things that are probably quite serious. Anyway, I thank you very much 
for watching and for your patience. And I will see you next time.